Welcome back to the lab. In this segment, we're going to talk about titrations. A titration is a very accurate method for determining the concentration of molecules in solution using another solution of known concentration. And the most important tool you'll be using in the lab for the titration is the burette. You may remember the burette from our segment on volumes. And as you can see, a burette has very accurate markings in milliliter segments so you know how much volume you've dispensed. At the bottom of the burette, you have a stopcock that allows you to open and close the solution depending on what you're doing. Now before I begin, I'm going to put on my safety glasses and now let's take a look at our equipment. Okay, when you come into lab, you'll see that the burette is suspended upside down and that allows the solution uh, that was in here to dry and drain out and you'll notice that the stopcock is open. Before I begin, I'm going to flip that burette right side up and close that stopcock to make sure that no solution leaks out when I begin to fill it up. Now the reagents I'm going to be using in the lab are the titrant, which is going to go into the burette, the indicator, which is going to change colors when we reached our equivalence point. Now when we do a titration, typically the titrant and the solution we're titrating aren't going to change color at all, so we need some sort of cue to tell us when we've gotten to that point, and that's what the indicator is for. In this case, our indicator is going to turn from pink to blue. We have our solution of unknown concentration here, which we're going to titrate, and we have our funnel for filling the burette. At the end of the titration, we're going to have a solution that looks like this blue color. Now, let's begin with our experiment. Along with the other pieces of glassware, you'll also need a waste beaker out of your drawer. So I'm going to get my waste beaker and move over to the burette. First thing we have to do is clean out the burette and make sure there's no other leftover titrant or other material in there. So I'm going to place the beaker under the burette, put my funnel at the top of the burette, and get my titrant. I'm going to add a small amount of titrant to the burette, and then drain it out of the tip just to make sure that there's nothing else in there. Now with the rest of the titrant, I'm just going to take it off the stand, swirl it around, and pour it out into the waste beaker. And as I swirl around and empty out, I've made sure that there's no other titrant in there and there's no other water, nothing else except for the pure titrant. Okay, I'm going to remount my burette, and now I'm going to remove my waste beaker, and now we have to add the indicator to the solution we're going to titrate. Now, as I said, our solution is going to start from pink and end up blue, so we need to add a small amount of indicator, and just a tipful will be enough. And as I add that and begin to swirl, you'll see that it turns a light pink color. And you want to make sure that all of that indicator is dissolved so that none reacts afterwards, okay? So you can see I start with a faint pink color, and now I'm going to put that under my burette, and I need to fill my burette with the rest of the titrant. Okay, so I'm going to put my funnel back in, get my titrant, and pour the solution into the burette up to near the top. And it doesn't have to be at zero, just at a number that you can read, okay? So in this case, I'm going to start somewhere around 9 milliliters, and if I look closely, it looks to be just about 9.5 milliliters, and I would mark that down as my initial volume. Okay, I'm going to remove my funnel, and now I can begin my titration. So I'm going to drop my burette a little bit so it lines up with my solution. And what you'll notice is slowly as I begin to add my solution, you'll notice that it begins to turn a slight blue color when it hits the solution but it instantly disappears, okay? And I'm going to start with my titration going a little bit faster, okay, until I start to see that blue color persist for a little while, okay? And as a comparison, now we're starting to change from a pink to a purple color, I'm going to use another solution that I've already reached the equivalence point to see the blue color we're trying to get to, okay? So I'm going to keep adding a little bit more solution. And once it gets really close around here, I'm going to start to proceed in a drop-by-drop -drop fashion until I get that exact blue color. Okay? And it may take a little while, 
but your accuracy will pay off in the end when you do your calculations. Okay? So I'm just going to swirl, and this is something you could do with your lab partner. They swirl and you add. You can see I'm very close right now, but I'm not quite the exact same blue color right about there. I've reached a color that is nearly equivalent to the other uh, solution. Okay, so once I've reached my equivalence point, I'm going to go back and look at the final volume of my burette, which is about 19 milliliters. I'm going to mark that down. And now once I have my final volume, initial volume, and I know my concentration of my titrant, I can perform some calculations to determine the concentration of the unknown solution. So that's the summary of how to do a titration. And we'll see you next time in lab.